Hi, I'm Jess, and this is Intro to Adulthood. Today, we're doing laundry. So we're starting at my mom's with her dryer. We usually just use a timed minute dry, um, because it's an older version, so you're never really sure how long it'll take. But I'll let her tell you how to do the washing. Right. So, here's another handy trick. Bras or things with clasps that can get caught on sweaters, put in a mesh bag, and you can zip it closed. Pop the zipper. Just make sure that you put your laundry in sort of even so that you're not overloading one side or the other of your washing machine or it'll get unbalanced. <coughs> now you can have ice swings, but you can have any kind of uh, detergent. So you want to set your load size. So I have it set to large. There's also super down here. Um, so that's large. And I have it set to cold water. You can also use hot, cold, or warm, cold rinse, depending on the fabric, if you want extra rinse. And then what cycle? So I'm just using a normal cycle, um, which is my normal cycle here. I'm gonna put it somewhere around here and allow this to start to fill. Throw in your flame. If you were adding bleach, your bleach would go in here when the water was starting to fill up. And later on, at the rinse cycle, when this comes around, when this is here at your final rinse, is when you add your laundry detergent. Make sure you add it to the water, otherwise it'll stay in your clothes. Okay, I'm back, and we're in my kind of spooky basement. Um, this is my washing machine uh, that I share with the other people that <clears throat> live in the duplex. Um, so we have a pretty large machine uh, and it's fairly new. So all the same first steps, just throw your laundry in and uh, your detergent. Uh, I use just pods. So then you'll turn it on and you'll be able to see all of the different selections that are already pre-made for you to select um, from your machine. Uh, each of them has um, specific sort of dry time, um, whether it's using hot or cold water, all depends on the different fabric that you're uh, gonna be washing. This also has um, a bunch of different options for whether you want it to spin faster or how dirty your clothes are. So there's a lot of um, ability to change what your wash is, but I just go for the normal cotton wash. If you're using a liquid detergent, um, you'll be able to tell how much detergent you need to put in by these little lines inside of the cup. If you see in the light here, um, the different lines mean how large your load of laundry is. So just fill up to whatever line you need, um, whether it's really big or really small, and go from there and you're good to go. So for dryer, make sure you take out all your lint um, because this could start a fire if you don't remove your lint from your dryer. Um, so get rid of that and then replace your, um, your lint catcher and shove all that laundry uh, that was freshly washed into your dryer. Don't forget to add a fabric softener sheet um, with your dryer. It'll kind of help with some static as well as uh, keep your jeans not as stiff if uh, you take them out of the dryer. So just close her up. And again, I have a, an automatic um, dryer that has already pre-decided uh, selection for you. You can also do minute based. Um, I usually just get go with the heavy duty because we do pretty big loads of laundry at my house. Um, once it's all selected, just hold down your start button and it'll just 
take care of itself. So once your dryer's done, grab all your clothes out of your laundry basket and this would also be a really good time if you live in an apartment building or with other people to take the rest of that lint out from your batch of laundry. Um, that way you're kind of good for other people and nobody has to clean out the lint that you left. And really all that's left to do is you're going to have to fold it. So I hope this helped anybody that hasn't done laundry yet get a little bit of an idea on how to do it. Um, I know I was worried when I first had to do my own. So, but thanks for watching and until next time, just keep on living.